G'day, it's Steve Innes again, um, designer, supposedly woodworker, give it a go kind of woodworker. Well, I like playing around with different bits and pieces and uh, one thing I found which is fantastic, because I'm in Australia, there's very little few things you can get in Australia half the time, and I found a great product which I really like, it's fantastic. I started out and I bought this, um, uh, I wanted to put a thread on wood. And I'll get a bit of down, just to show you. Here's a bit of down, just from your regular hardware store. You know, nice piece of down, maybe pine, maybe hardwood. And this is what you can do to it. Now, I should see if I can take it up to the camera, maybe the camera can see. This is a great little machine I got from America, from a company called Be All. And it's a wood threader, and you set it up in your router. It's a, it's a little V groove um, uh, cutter, <laughs> and you feed your dowel in like so. You twist it, and out it comes like a thread, and it's great. You know, you can you can use it. You can make your own little nuts, and uh, you can tighten it up, and you. Ugh. I just reckon it's great. But this is a fabulous little tool to do it. I tried one of these hand jobbies, terrible, rip the guts out of it. Here was my first attempt using the little hand unit. The blade, the little cutter blade goes around and cuts the thread, but <laughs> it sure cut the thread and you had to soak it in linseed oil or some kind of oil and for you know 300 years or something like that before the timber would get soft enough that it could cut it properly. I had it for a day, I thought it was a piece of crap, <laughs> so it's terrible, I, I, I went past that and I googled wood threading and I came up with uh, uh, this be all um, little router kit which, which will do this. Now, you set it up with your own personal router, it's got a little cutter inside here which I'll show you later, um, but just simply get you down, twist it through and away you go. Now I'll do a little demonstration on it, so just bear with me. It's warts and all stuff. Remember, so I'm going to cut a piece of sand with the wood. Cut a bit of dough like that. By the way, if you don't have one of these, these are the greatest little fantastic Japanese saw, it's a back pull saw, it's really fine, I think it's about 1.6 millimeters, and it's sharp as, and if you just want to do a nice little cut, it's just fantastic, I really like it, leaves a really, really, really sharp, shiny end on the, the timber. Now, so what we do, we just get our piece of, now this is three quarter inch down, or 19 millimeters in, in Australia, which is a real measurement, the Americans and their, their imperial pork, I don't know. Anyway, it's real simple. It's going to be a little bit noisy, but I've improved it. I've improved a little bit on the system. I made this little unit here, which clips around so I can put my dusty on it. And now I do it dust free. Fantastic. Dust used to be all over the floor. I was neat, I was up to here in dust. And now, here it goes. So, I wake him up, it's a little bit loud. I suppose I should put my, should put my ear protection on. Switch on. First, hey, that's a good idea. You can usually tell when it starts to throw dust down.
good how good is this? Brush away some of the dust and here we've got a perfect thread as you can see cut into the timber easy peasy it's easy peasy you just twist it around just, just gently twist it through you've got to set it a setting but if you you know punch in be all wood threader onto YouTube Mr. B all shows you how to do it you know really properly I'm doing it layman's terms <laughs> I've got a hunk of dowel run it through my little setup I set it up the way it does you can do half inch three quarter inch one inch I think one and a one and eighth or one and three eighths you can do a bunch of sizes but this kit this little kit that was my router you use your own router little kit comes with all this little bit of a, a setup here pretty simple you got a bunch of you got a bunch of different sort of sleeves that you put in so your timber goes through but look at that it's amazing now you can tap thread into it but that'll be the next one I'll show you what that's like because I only did one of the threads and um, that's inside so I should have got it alright I'll see you in part two